Customer Data Platform helps you unify your data into a single view of your customer, even when that data exists across many different systems. And with unified data, you can create audience segments that allow you to deliver the personalized experiences your customers expect. Meet Tom. Let's imagine for a moment he's one of your customers. Tom shows up as a contact in Marketing Cloud and as a lead in Sales Cloud. Having data in multiple channels can make it hard to deliver the personalized and integrated engagements that Tom expects from your brand. Here's where Customer Data Platform comes in. After ingesting data into your Customer Data Platform, you can set up match and reconciliation rules to create a unified individual profile, creating one profile for Tom instead of two. Now that you have all of Tom's info, you can create a marketing message designed specifically for him using Marketing Cloud. Marketing to Tom just got easier, but how exactly do you achieve this unified profile? By creating identity resolution rule sets. To create a unified individual profile, match and reconciliation rules are used to determine what data to look for across systems. For customer Tom, you could match his info based on name or email. To explain how this works, let's go back to your data. After data is added into Customer Data Platform, it needs to be mapped to a data model object based on the Customer 360 data model. To use identity resolution, data that describes customers needs to be mapped to the individual data model object. For example, data like first and last name. Your data about how to contact people, think email address or phone number, should be mapped to a contact point data model object. Options include contact point email, contact point phone, and contact point address. Which data model objects, also called DMOs, you map to determine your match rule options. You have a variety of choices that you can mix or match based on your use case. These include name, email, phone number, address, device, a party identifier, which is a unique system identifier, or a custom field like a birth date. You can also create multiple match rules on standard or custom fields in any combination. For example, for Tom, you could have a match rule that includes fuzzy first name and email, or phone and email and party identifier, for example, Tom's lead ID in CRM. If either match rule is true, a match is made. Add as many rules as you like to create your perfect mix. In addition to match rules, which determine what data to review, Reconciliation rules are configured to decide what data source to select for your unified profile. Looking back at Tom's profile as a reference, what data source should his first name come from? Which should Customer Data Platform choose? Reconciliation rules help with that selection. There are three options, the value from the most recently updated record, the most frequently occurring value, or based on the specific order of the source systems. For Tom, our admin chooses source sequence with Marketing Cloud first and CRM second. So Tom's unified profile uses Tom from his Marketing Cloud record instead of Thomas from this Service Cloud record, even though they are both in Customer Data Platform. Deciding on your match and reconciliation rules and then mapping your customer data correctly are important steps. Be sure to work with your team to review your data and discuss your segmentation goals. Once your data mapping requirements are in place, you can configure rule sets to create unified individual profiles. Behind the scenes, your data is being connected based on the match rules that you select. Once your data is mapped and identity resolution rule sets are in place, it's smooth sailing for marketers. You can begin creating audience segments and doing the marketing magic that make customers like Tom customers for life.